What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and today I have a super special tutorial for you guys once again. Um, it's going to be a Lightroom edit and you guys requested that Bryson Tiller inspired look and the cool thing about this look is that it's a night shot so it's a picture taken at night with the flash on and it's really cool because now we're moving towards winter. Um, just the conditions are not as good for photography as in summer. There's less sun, um, some rain Rainy days there's a lot of clouds in the sky so the perfect workaround is starting to include some night shots where the conditions are always the same and you get the more or less the same result all the time and um, this is why today's tutorial is special because it's gonna be a night look it's that green kind of disposable camera look and um, I've also created a preset on exactly this Bryson Tiller disposable camera inspired look. It's on my website. The link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack with over 100 presets that you can just easily choose from and just paste to your pictures without having to toggle every dial in the free Lightroom app. So it's a cool shortcut and again it's a huge pack and the cool thing about the all presets pack is that every time I create new presets which is on a weekly basis they're automatically updated to your pack so you don't have to buy it again or anything. Buy it once and you'll have a growing presets pack. It's a great deal. I think it's unique. Most of you guys already have the all presets pack. Thank you to you guys. And this preset is now in your pack. So um, have fun, skip the video, whatever. Um, everyone else who wants to learn how to create it in the Lightroom app, we're gonna do that right now. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell. If this is content that you like and you don't wanna miss out on any of my future videos. And of course, if you have ideas, if you have questions or just um, new requests for new videos, feel free to DM me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is my handle, and I'm always excited to hear from you guys, so do that. I've said enough now, let's dive into this. Now we went outside looking for a good spot, um, so we found a nice spot in the park which came close to that Bryson Tiller um, inspired picture, and um, I asked my girlfriend to take a few pictures of me in front of the sculpture, and of course she made sure to have the flash on while taking the pictures, and this is the end result, and um, I'm gonna show you right now how to create that Bryson Tiller inspired night look with this picture in the Free Lightroom app. So we want to grab our smartphone, of course, and now open this picture that we've created in the Free Lightroom app. Now we've uploaded it right here, and we go to the light setting, to the curve on the upper right side, and I want you to recreate this curve exactly as it is right here. It's a pretty simple S curve, so on the bottom left side, the shadows, we pull them up a little bit, then on the upper right side, the highlights, we pull them down a little bit, and in between, we create two new nodes just to um, create that slight S curve and um, once you have this, you might wanna um, take a screenshot and really make sure to come as close to this curve as possible. And once you have this, we are done here. And now we just wanna boost up the exposure a little bit to plus 0 0.40 right here. And the contrast, we wanna pull that down to negative 31 or 30. And the highlights, boost them up to plus 20. Five, pull down the shadows to negative 12 right there and also the whites you want to pull down to negative 30 as well as the blacks all the way down to negative 42 in this case then we move over to the color right here now for the temperature we want to boost that up to plus 15 to that orange area the tint we want to pull down to negative 17 to that green area now the vibrance, we want to boost that up a little bit to plus 18. And then we want to pull down the saturation all the way to negative 21. Then we scroll up, hit the color mix on the upper right side. And for the red tones, what we want to do is just boost up the hue to plus 29. Saturation as well up to around 31. And leave the luminance at zero. Now the orange tones, what you want to do is just pull down the hue to negative 9, boost up the saturation to plus 25, and boost up the luminance to plus 26 right here. Then we go over to the yellow tones, and here we just want to pull down the saturation to negative 28 in this case, and then we're done with the color mix. We go over to the effects tab down here, just pull down the clarity to negative 
three just to soften up the image a little bit. Then D Hayes boost that up to plus four to bring some crisp back in. And now, of course, we want to add a lot of grain. So we pull that up to 30 right here. And also the size, we want to boost that up to 46 and the roughness all the way up to 77 in this case. Then we scroll up, hit the split toning on the upper right side, and this is where that final color touch comes in. Those green tones to the shadows, the little purple to the highlights. So for the highlights, we pull over to a hue of around 280 in this case, and a saturation of, really slight saturation of around 16 is perfect. So it's 287 and 16, um, which gives that purple tint to the highlights. The shadows pull over all the way to around 150 right here, and a saturation of 13 is perfect. So it's 157 and 13, you can see that green color, and we are done here. And that's it guys, here's a little before and after. And I think we came super close to that Bryson Tiller inspired night look, and I've done this to many more of my pictures and I'm planning on doing this to more of them because as I said in the beginning, now that the winter is coming, these night shots are just a great uh, way to create content even though the sun is not out. Um, so I really recommend that. I hope you guys think this is valuable content as well. I really enjoyed doing this video for you. And of course, I've also created a preset on exactly this Bryson Tiller nighttime inspired look. It's on my website, the link is under this video, and it's in that all presets pack with over 100 presets that you can just easily paste to every one of your pictures to give them that creative and that extra look. Um, make sure to check that out, link is under this video. And of course, if you haven't already and you like this content, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell to not miss out on any of my future videos because if you DM me on Instagram, I'm really open for all of your ideas, uh, new video requests, and I'm really excited to hear from you. So feel free to DM me there. I've said enough. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay creative, stay healthy, peace.